Atomic accumulation of fat is a marker, but probably not a mechanism of lipotoxicity. The problem, what I'm going to tell later, is the problem with lipotoxicity. That just mere fat accumulation is simple steatosis. But when it comes to lipotoxicity, these uh, metabolites of fatty, free fatty acid, metabolism like diacylglycerol, ceramides, they are toxic to the cells. And also there's a glucolipotoxicity. As you all know, the fat in the liver cells, they are break down to fatty acid coenzyme A, fatty acid CoA, and they can be converted to glucose for as a gluconeogenesis. But because of the hyperglycemia and melanoid CoA excess, the fatty acid can be converted to glucose. So there will be more fat accumulation leading to lipotoxicity. So this picture shows the ectopic fat accumulation and the effect of lipotoxicity. In the heart, the CVD rigs, the pancreas, leading to type 2 diabetes, and the visceral fat, there is an increased insulin resistance, and the muscles, reduce ATP synthesis, and the liver, steatosis, NASH, and NASH plus fibrosis. In the vessels, there is increased chance of atherosclerosis. Luckily, we have some lipotrophic factors also, which prevents formation of fatty liver accumulation. They are choline, vitamin E, and essential fatty acids in the body. If I have to take you to the hepatic triglyceride balance, you know, the liver, normally it is 3% triglyceride in the liver, and it is balanced by the uptake of fat, triglyceride from the diet, synthesis from adipose tissue, and the excess, or when we need it, the fatty acids are oxidized, or they are secreted by the low-density lipoprotein to the peripheral tissues. As Sia said, in the diet, this high fructose corn sugar are very dangerous. They are sucrose. They are very high in sucrose. Our table salt, or oh, sorry, table sugar is 50% sucrose and 50% glucose. This high fructose corn syrup is 55% sucrose. Glucose can be metabolized or stored as a glycogen or only 2% will, will be stored as fat. But for a fructose, we can store fructose as a glycogen, and it can be stored only as acetyl-CoA leading to de novo lipogenesis. And a big Coca-Cola bottles have 140 calories, which are empty calories. They don't have any, apart from the sugar or the calories, no vitamins, no fibers, nothing. So after drinking a bottle of Coke, still you don't have a satiety. So you want to eat or drink more. So in a normal person, the de novo lipogenesis is only 10%. But in a nephal patient, the de novo lipogenesis increased to 23%, which will lead to fat accumulation, fat toxicity in the liver. So what is de novo lipogenesis? So de novo lipogenesis is a lipogenesis from our intake of fructose and glucose, which is enhanced by insulin resistance, the increased bottle insulin, the reduced glucose disposal, and increased lipolysis. And the obesogenic diet, like increased fructose, high carbohydrate, and high fat diet, leads to de novo lipogenesis with increased fat accumulation in the liver. Defects can 
be, can be beta oxidized to carbon dioxide and ketone bodies. And they can be secreted from the liver, as I've said, by VLDL synthesis. If you look at the lipid inflow and the this lipid outflow, they are also transcription factors involving in this uh, diagram. So majority of the audience in this room are clinicians, so I'm not going to go into detail regarding about these molecular and these transcription factors. And not only that you are all clinicians, I also don't know much about that. So these are the transcriptional factors, so many things. <clears throat> so I have to summarize, the synthesis is increased because of the insulin resistance, there is increased lipolysis, and because of the increased intake of high glucose or sucrose diet, there is a fat accumulated in the body. But for the disposal part, we can increase the oxidation because of ins insulin resistance, and we can level up our secretion from the liver because of the oxidation reactions and the <clears throat> and the uh, <clears throat> uh, lack of what you call protein synthesis in the liver. So the fat accumulates in the liver, which leads to simple steatosis. Seafirm, caring for well-being.